Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. We've just launched our newest campaign at stopthetrap.net. This is really big for us at Open Media. We're growing in scope, from a Canada-only organization to one that tackles digital issues internationally. Why? Because we have to. Before launching the StopTheTrap.net campaign, we asked you for input and feedback on how exactly we should be tackling the issue of the TPP. A lot of you read up on the secretive agreement, checked out the leaked intellectual property chapter with all its crazy restrictions, and came back with informed but concise ways of framing the issue, which we of course used. Yes, the TPP will criminalize the way many Canadians use the internet every day. Yes. It's a huge breach of privacy to have internet providers handing your data over to big media without appropriate oversight or safeguards. And yes, it's just plain wrong to threaten internet users with fines, lawsuits, or worse. In short, our government just signed on to an agreement without our consent that could slow walk us into an internet trap. Now it's time to make it all worthwhile. Visit StopTheTrap.net, sign the petition, send national leaders a message, then tell everyone you know to do the same. This is important. This is the big one. I'm confident that we'll stop the internet trap together, just like we've successfully been pushing back against online spying and a whole host of other issues. I'm constantly being told what amazing change has been made and how unprecedented our success is. You have to know that it's because of you. That's why I know that we can stop the TPP's internet trap together. Thank you for all that you do. For the internet, this is Lindsay with Open Media International, signing off.